Santa Claus and the Nativa Ridge Christmas in there. <laughs> goes well today i will be um posting a video about you know nation's kitchen it's about my friend i had an interview with him earlier this year i didn't get the chance to post his video but now i get this chance to do it so i want you guys to go and check out nation's kitchen is located in atlanta and if you're passing through the atlanta area or if you are anywhere in the united states of america you can hit up Nation's Kitchen on Instagram and he will provide all you need. So go check out this interview that I did with him. Yeah, you can. Ready. Just talk, you can't always edit out, you know. Okay. Mm. So, so basically, all we do is planting because everybody loves planting, right? And over here, we have the good up, good up curry goat. Come, come closer. Yeah. Let me see what I'm going on. Curry go with a simmer. Just like that. And over here we have rice and peas. Rice and peas. Jerk chicken. And that's my favorite right there. Jerk salmon. So yes, everybody welcomes the uh, nation's kitchen. With yours truly, Mr. Nation. Yes, that's me. <laughs> so, like the so how do you, what gave you this idea like or what you know um, influenced you or you started out honestly um i started doing this well i started cooking years ago but i had stopped because i kind of lost the motivation but you know going to work and paying crazy ass prices for garbage food at the airport you know my co-workers was like yo you should start cooking again and you know one day i started with like five plates Aki and Salvish, you know, everybody loved that. And then it just took off from there. And, you know, I started, you know, doing jerk chicken, you know, the jerk salmon, you know, curry goat, curry shrimp. And then I recently started making juices. So let me show you how I go on. You know, we have the nice Jamaican thing, the carrot, you know, with ginger and thing. Yes. And we we'll have cucumber over here so you know so we just are trying for the americans is cucumbers cucumbers <laughs> and then the cucumber cucumber <laughs> so you know we just are trying different things and you know see where the thing go from there basically you know because cooking is my passion you know and i like to make people feel good you know with my food and thing so so you, you do believe that in the future you'll probably have your own restaurant oh yeah most definitely i mean i think you know whatever god has in store for me is something I'm ready for because you know I've prayed for this and I put in the work and you know everything will come to pass so yeah I'll definitely have my restaurant so yeah I'll look out for that same name and everything nation's kitchen me now I'll lose it you know so I'll definitely have my own restaurant so tell them where you're located right now um currently I'm located in Atlanta Georgia but I can fly anywhere if you want to cook anywhere I can definitely pull up you know, I cook anywhere and I do catering, you know, private chef, I do private events, you know, all that kind of stuff. I do all that. Definitely. And I, I taste his cooking and it is really good. Yep. I can say that for sure. Because me funny when it comes to food and I really like his food. So, yeah. So definitely we should look out for Nation's Kitchen in the future because, listen, the man I cook up a storm. Yeah. Do things anything you want. Time. Yes. Anything you want. He will be able to look after it for you. And I'm come from countries, and you know, a countryman can countryman cook. Can cook. <laughs> yeah. Make them know, right? Yeah, just like that. Yeah. And so, what are the reactions you get from your cooking when your co workers you come up Honestly, in? Honestly, I'm like Santa Claus and they not even reach Christmas. Yet. <laughs> you know, when I pull up, you know, my co workers go crazy. Like literally every single day I sold out. There's never been a day where I brought food to work and brought back food home. So every single day I sell out and most times I sell out before me even reach work. 
So I think you know the reaction has been has been amazing so far. So you know I'm have to be thankful for that. You know? And plus you basically get cussed out if you don't cook. Yeah, I mean get cussed out. So the other day I took like a week off from work and them cussed me out and asked me what they have me there and why me take vacation, you know, and them something there. So I mean I'm doing something good, you know, so I just go and be just go and build upon what I've started and things. So you know that's it. Yeah. yeah and that is good when you're passionate about something because Definitely. if you're not having the love for it like you right. say you had lost it but yeah, then yeah. you I, get I, the I motivation it, you know so. yeah so that is good that and even though i'm tired you know because right now i'm tired like my legs are hurt me and my back are hurt me but i mean yeah somebody has to do it you know so can you basically get probably three hours of sleep maybe three hours because i came home late made juice and do some other stuff and thing and wake up early to start cooking I'm here right now, so I mean, it's all gonna be worthwhile when I reach work and drop off some food and people taste it, you know, so those sort of things. Said. It's always nice when you know you see other persons enjoying what Definitely. you do, you know, make you feel happy right. within. Yeah. Because so. a lot of people can say, yo, my food good, but if nobody now tastes your food, you know, all we are gonna know is say it's good. Yeah, that's yeah. true, you know, and trust me, getting reactions from persons is always the best yes. thing because you know you're doing Definitely. something good. So it's really. I'm happy that you're doing this. I'm happy for you. I know it's going to go on. Because when I know see you start doing it, I'm like, what? May I not cook up a yeah, stuff? Yeah, a lot of people were surprised. They were like, yo, I didn't know you know how to cook. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, I lost it for a few years. I wasn't really doing much with my life. Yeah. But no, this is my dream job. You know, this is my dream job. Cooking. You know, and just putting flavors together and just make people feel good. Yeah, you know, when time you're motivated to do something, you're going to do it, you oh, know. Most definitely, most definitely. Yeah. So it's it's nice that you find back your passion yeah, and your love for cooking because, unlike me, I mean, I like cook, but me cook, if me have to cook, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but, like cook, but you have to eat the food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but definitely, like, if you have a passion for something, then you will enjoy it. True. If you don't have a passion for it, you're not going to enjoy it. True. That's why I cannot just get up and do anything. Yeah. Even because oh, it pays a lot. Right. I have to really enjoy it. And I'm not doing this just for the money. You know? It's not just it's for, for the, the money. love. It's for the love. Yes. You know? Because I feel like once you're doing it for the love, the money will come eventually. Definitely. The money is definitely going to come. You know, you're just, you know, you're just starting out and you know, I'm making a crazy profit. You know, but you're building a clientele and you know, me are going to build something. Yeah. And then when the money for come, the money have a roll in. You know, so right now we just have one dude for the love. And trust me, you have an Instagram page? Oh yeah, definitely. My Instagram page is nation underscore kitchen. Okay. You, know, you can definitely find me on Facebook as well at the same name. Nation underscore kitchen. On yes. Instagram. Okay, so guys go and look for nation underscore kitchen. Yes. Um to see what he's up to if you're in the Atlanta area. You know, just link him up. I'm sure you have a mobile or um, something information on how to reach him if you want then when you go on the, the page you can definitely dm me or whatever it is and then we can line out the details and things and sort out things you know and that's it uh, yeah and he's not far from the airport like he's basically um, almost in the middle right, of atlanta so, so <laughs> crazy thing is you know there's been people who connected to atlanta and them are a fool i'm a basically yeah he work at the, the airport, airport people the airport, so. so you want some good you jamaican know, food when you're connecting just i will bring the food to you in the airport i yes. promise you that yes you know like i'm gonna be leaving for the 21st make sure you bring me dinner please <laughs> definitely I'll because be my flight is at five something so please bring my dinner that's it <laughs> Yes, yeah, so yes, guys. Um, this is Mayon's kitchen. Well, Nation. I call it Mayon. Um, Mayon is is Nation's kitchen. Yes, Mayon is his first name. <laughs> so yeah, this is Nation's kitchen, and as you can see, yep, it's cooking up a storm. Definitely, the plant here look nice. Cheese on peas. Nice mm -hmm. And the rice again, and the the chicken. You know, me love chicken and the grilled salmon. And the veggies in here, and once again, he have juice. See my my towel something here, so it look like see this next. Shrimp, <laughs> shrimp, 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 shrimp. shrimp. That, yeah. That, I think curry shrimp is probably one of my favorite dishes because it's so quick and easy to make, and you know we just love curry. Yeah. Anything curry, curry crab. You see, you look Indianish. Anything curry. <laughs> yes, you look Indianish, so you know for sure yeah, that curry. Indian curry is Indian food, so you know, exactly. yeah. So definitely, yep, so, yes, yeah, so once again, this is Nation's Kitchen and just look out for him on Instagram. If you need to order, just order and he will bring it to you wherever you want.